I'm here today with Todd Esperland, who is directing uh, our Richard III coming up in April. And I have to ask you, why do you love this play? I think it's the best Shakespeare history because it's not just a history, but we have elements like Queen Margaret and the curse that she puts on him. And all of those elements together take it out of the realm of history and really bring it into literature, into a play. We get to not just watch history, but we get to watch Shakespeare construct this wonderful plot with um, curses and fights. And this is your first time directing at the Civic. So yeah. welcome. We, we're, we enjoy <laughs> Thank having you for having you here. Me. Absolutely. Could you um, tell us a little bit about what your directing philosophy, maybe your working style? I think it's really important for a director to um, physicalize the emotional or metaphorical intent of the play. What's the emotional intent of the play? What's the metaphorical intent of the play? How can we create a world that shows that through not just the acting, but the design of the costumes, the set, the lights, all of that pushes the story forward in its emotional or metaphorical intent. The other thing I like to think of myself as an actor, or as a director, is I think I'm an actor's director. Um, because I'm an actor first, I don't like to be treated like a puppet uh, as an actor, and so I don't like to treat my actors as puppets. Um, I, I would more like to guide them and help them find choices rather than just give them choices. Create situations, workshops, elements and rehearsals where we can really guide you to find the best choices and your best choices and so that I can focus your best choices rather than me just telling you how to do the role. There's a connection between uh, popular TV series Game of Thrones mm -hmm. and Richard III. Can you talk about that a little bit? Game of Thrones works even though it's this arcane history and this arcane political background because all the characters have really specific motivations for what they're doing and why they're doing it. It's not just intellectual. There's an emotional drive to what they want and what they're, what they're doing. Also, the character of Tyrion in Game of Thrones and Richard are really similar characters. Hmm, okay, but the era or the world in which you're setting our Richard III is not going to be Game of Thrones. Can no. One of the things that we're doing is we're exploring the idea of um, politics as performance. And as we're working with the designers, the world is going to be this Victorian sort of playhouse, sideshow, circus area so that we can explore um, the notion of how politicians are not always truthful. They're putting on a show. And then behind the scenes, they're showing us their real faces. Is there a particular acting style that you're going to be looking for? <laughs> uh, yeah, I want you Is there a Shakespearean acting style? I don't, th <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I, I, mean think, I think people think that the Shakespearean acting style is, oh, Desdemona kind of a thing. And mm -hmm. that's just, especially in this day and age, it's going to kill us. I think really what I'm looking for in this show is the ability to use the verse in order, to, um, in order to find the emotional needs of the characters. So I'm looking to see if you can play the verse. I'm looking to see if you can just play in general. Um, and, and also just commit to, to this language. How can we commit to the language with an emotional, uh, a real emotional weight under it? And more importantly, I think in the parish theater, it will work. It's such an intimate space. I love, I love that space. Mm -hmm. And we can't, we can't pummel the audience with acting. We have, to, we have to invite them in. And you're going to be looking for monologues? Yes. Um, can you talk a little bit about, maybe we give them a little pointer on where to maybe look for monologues, what type of monologues, any Shakespeare monologues, specifically Richard? Look for any Shakespeare monologue you want. Okay. I, I want to see uh, what inspires you, what Shakespeare monologue really speaks to you or that you think is fun to do. Preferably it's in verse, uh, iambic pentameter, da 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 But pick whatever you want and have fun with it and play with it and come in and bring choices. I'm really looking for actors who um, uh, want to try and handle the verse, are able to play and commit. I mean, even, even it, it's, it's a play. There's a reason why they call it a play and not I work in a cubicle. It's play. Even when it's serious, like Richard III, it's still play. And do they have to memorize? No. You don't have to memorize. Bring it in. If you're memorized, awesome. If you're not, what I'm really looking for is for you to make choices in the monologue and make real distinct, clear choices so that I see your thinking in, in the piece. Richard III auditions February 15th and 16th in the Civic Auditorium, and we are going to be performing in the Parish Theater April 10th through the 25th, so I hope you'll come down.